Hmm. Cheers. Oh, coffee in the afternoon is amazing. What is up guys? Today I'm going to be doing my very first Game Boy Color IPS screen mod and I'm so excited to do it. I honestly, I can't wait. It's, I've been wanting to do this for ages. So I'm going to take you along on that journey with me and hopefully we can get a working Game Boy Color with an awesome IPS backlit screen. I'm actually so excited. All right, let's get into it guys. Okay guys, so for this mod today, we're going to need a Game Boy Color, a replacement shell, that's optional. You're going to need an IPS screen kit from Funny Playing, some capped on tape. You're also going to need some flush cutters, as well as a tri wing screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. Now, to start with, as always, we take the six tri wing screws out of the back of the Game Boy. This will allow us to take the back of the shell off, just like this. After this, you're going to have to remove the three Phillips head screws from the back and then we can push the little tabs up that hold the screen connector. This will release it and then we can take it out. Now the motherboard should be free to be removed and we'll just take that out and put it to the side. Now for this mod, we're going to have to trim these little pins that come through the motherboard from where the cartridge adapter is. Now we have to do this so that we don't puncture anything on the ribbon cable that we're going to install for the new screen. Just try and get them as close as you can to the board so that there isn't anything else protruding. Once you've done that, we would just give the board a nice clean with some isopropyl alcohol and a q-tip. This is just so that everything works smoothly. Um, I also cleaned the switch with some isopropyl alcohol as well, just so that is working properly. And I also did the same for the sound wheel as well. Okay, so next up is the new shell. Now, I bought a shell that was pre-made for the IPS screen mod, so they've used a CNC machine to mill out the areas that need to be trimmed. You don't have to buy a new shell. You are able to use your original shell. You're just gonna need some flush cutters or a Dremel or something that is able to remove the plastic that needs to be removed so that the screen can fit in properly. I just found it easier to buy a pre-made shell just to save me a bit of time. So the first thing I did was put down the little piece of double-sided tape that I was provided in the kit. Now I know a lot of people use brackets but I didn't have any 3D printed brackets for this build so I just used what I had been given. Um, it's totally up to you what you use. The only problem with the double-sided tape is that when you stick it down it's there for good because you will break the screen if you try and take it off. So just keep that in mind if you are going to use the double-sided tape that they provide in the kit. When placing the screen down, just make sure you don't have any dust on the screen. I had a quick look and it seemed pretty good, so I just went ahead and applied the screen lens. But um, normally to be good practice to just blow it off with an air blower or just give it a quick wipe down. So for the next part, I actually covered the whole back of the new LCD with capped on tape. I did this just to make sure that nothing was going to short out on the back of the screen because it is metal. So this is just good practice, you don't have to do this but I would recommend it. Okay so now it's time to install the LCD ribbon cable. Now what I've done here is I actually pushed the little ribbon cable bit over from the LCD and applied pressure directly on the screen. Um, I realized afterwards that this is not a great idea, you could definitely break it if you did this, so I probably wouldn't do that again. Just be extremely careful when handling these screens because they are very delicate. Afterwards I went back through and put some more capped on tape on top of the ribbon cable for the same reason, just so nothing shorted out and none of the components are damaged. There is a little chip at the top that you do not want to bend, that's why you see me putting more capped on tape over the top there. I also used a bit of double sided tape to stick in the brightness control at the top underneath the IR cover. Now you don't have to put the brightness control there, that's just what I did. 
you can pretty much put it wherever you want um, as long as the cable can reach so okay so that is pretty much it for the install of the screen I then just put the buttons and the silicon conductive pads back in I then put a bit of Kapton tape over those pins that we had trimmed down earlier just as a double precaution um, after that you can put the motherboard back in and just screw it down with those three Phillips head screws and that's pretty much the installation of the screen you just then have to connect it at the top just be careful installing the new ribbon cable push down the pins and then it's just reassembly as normal just make sure you get that sensor cable out of the way so that it doesn't get pinched okay so as far as modding goes that's pretty much the mod um, it was tricky to do, you do have to be very careful, the screen is very delicate, so just make sure you don't put too much pressure on it. I probably put a bit too much pressure on when I was doing the capped on tape as well as connecting the screen. So just be very careful when doing that, you do not want to break them and it is very delicate. Um, but yeah, so other than that it was pretty straightforward, it made it real easy having the pre-made shell, so that's always an option. Yeah, so once that is done, you just screw the back on as per usual, and that's the mod. Alright guys, that is the video for today. I'm so happy with the result. The Game Boy Color turned out awesome. And I'm actually so excited to see this backlit screen on this Game Boy because it was a bit trying at times, but oh my gosh, is this mod worth it? If you get a chance to do it, I would recommend it. Take your time, take it slow, make sure you don't stuff anything up and you'll have an amazing result. The Game Boy was so good. I'm actually, I, honestly, I can't wait to just keep playing this thing. It's so much fun to play. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I will see you guys in future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Need more coffee to be articulate enough. <laughs>